This is the YJ MGC Evo version 2. So, yeah, let's see if this is any good. Okay. So, right, so you got the cube, you got the accessories, and this weird thing. Another bag that no one wants. Maybe people do. If you do want a bag, talk to me, contact me, and maybe I'll sell it to you. A pound or two. Right, okay. Okay, this is the cube. Okay, it does feel pretty different from the original. Um, yeah, this feels very different. It's, it's not as fast as the original, but maybe that's a good thing. Yeah, I'm just getting lockups and issues that I shouldn't be getting, and the tensions are quite tight. I feel that the magnets are quite weak on the strength out of the box, um, but you can change that with the screwdriver. So I will probably do that uh, later. In fact, I'm going to do it right now. Okay, well I think I've changed the magnet strength, but they don't feel any stronger now. Uh, I'm a bit worried I might have accidentally made them weaker, but it, nonetheless it feels a bit better now, which is a bit weird. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure quite right now what to think of this cube. I'll have to play around with it quite a bit to see. Actually, I don't have any lubricant here, I don't think, so I can't really set it up properly. Um, yeah, the, the magnet adjustment system is a bit weird. Like, you need to adjust all 24 edges, um, which is a lot more than most cubes these days. Most cubes, you only need to adjust 12, and then it automatically adjusts the edge on the other side as well. But, this one you do need to adjust them all individually, which is a bit annoying, but it's not a massive deal really. It actually has magnetic adjustment, unlike some MoU cubes that have been coming out recently. But it does feel quite a bit better now, which is a bit strange. Not really, you know, I thought it would be um, slower after messing with the magnet, but is a bit faster. Um, I have a feeling it might have just been on the strongest setting already. Okay, there's a bit of a corner cutting issue here. That's not good really. You can do 45, but it can't do much more than 45. That is not a good sign at all. Maybe that's that explains the problems there. I don't know if there's any way that can be dealt with, but I mean, that is a major issue with the cube. They can't corner cut 45 degrees. Yeah. Like, it can hardly go over 45 at all. And it takes quite a bit of effort to do just 45. I mean, something like the Huamei YS3M, like, that is just completely trivial. Of course, it can do 45. It's not even a question. You can do more than 45 like 60, whereas this, it just can't, it's not good from YJ, you know? it's a bit concerning how, I mean, like their pyramids, it's just a bit disappointing, it doesn't have good reverse either, it can't do line to line, like, well actually neither can the Huawei, but it can like, do a normal cut, oh no it can, Mm. That is rather 
concerning. Not what I would expect from YJ these days, considering how good their big cubes are. Um, well, let's at least have a look at the mechanism. It might be a bit tight, although I don't know whether that should make a big difference. It's got quite a big core. plastic in the core than normal, it's probably not very easy to see on the camera, but yeah, it's, it's definitely a bigger core, I'm not sure what that really does, <laughs> maybe that's where, where they drove it over with a Range Rover to see whether it would survive, and well, it did, but is that anything special, and does the cube really need to be that strong, <laughs> like, Maybe that's just not the thing a cube needs. Maybe the cube just needs a good design. It's not like a timer. You just don't really want a cube that can survive being driven over by a Range Rover if it's not a good cube. It's a bit irrelevant, really. say about this cube other than I, I'm at the moment based on its out-of-the-box performance I can't really recommend it um, it's lacking corner cutting it's locking up in unnecessary places um, the magnets are confusing um, I will have to see whether it's any better with setup but for now I can't really recommend it um, I mean, if you want a cube about 20 pounds, then the Huawei YS3M Borkor is probably a much better option for most people. I'm not sure if I can even say this is better than the MGC V1, which is concerning because that was not a very popular cube at all. It obviously feels quite different to the MGC V1, but MGC V1, of course, not the actual MGC V1. That's a but yeah, that's my view for now. I don't know what else I can say really, other than, yeah, we'll see what it's like to set up, but for now I can't recommend it. Thanks for watching, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.